In this video, I'll go over some examples of adding and subtracting integers, adding and subtracting using math strips and units, and adding and subtracting fractions. So we'll start with an example of adding and subtracting integers. And to illustrate this, we'll use the chef story. In the chef story, we have a cauldron, and in the cauldron there is some soup, and the chef can control the soup by adding hot cubes, which are the red ones, and cold cubes, which are the blue ones. And the chef can also remove hot cubes and cold cubes. So there's four things that the chef can do to control the temperature of the soup. If the chef adds a hot cube, temperature goes up one, and we can write this as adding one. If the chef removes a hot cube, the temperature goes down one, and we can write this as subtracting one. If the chef adds a cold cube, the temperature goes down one, and we can write this as adding brackets negative one, because we're adding a cold cube and the cold cubes are negative. So we're adding negative one. And finally, if the chef removes a cold cube, the temperature will go up one. And we can write this as subtracting negative one. And that's because we're removing, we're subtracting a cold cube, which is negative one. So what's nice about this example is it gives an intuitive way for the students to understand that subtracting negative one, which makes the temperature go up one degree, has the same result as adding positive one. And similarly, we can have the temperature go down one by either subtracting positive one or by adding negative one. Okay, so let's do some examples. So right now we've got six hot cubes and six cold cubes in the cauldron. So the temperature is balanced at zero degrees. What happens if the chef were to add four hot cubes? Well, clearly the temperature would go up four degrees. What happens if the chef adds another six hot cubes? Well, the temperature goes up another six degrees, so it's gonna go up from four to 10. So this is illustrating this equation here, four plus six equals, and then we can write in the answer now, equals 10. Okay, nice easy example to start with. Let's, uh, let's reset the cauldron to four degrees and then we'll do something different. Okay, so we've reset the temperature back to four degrees. Okay, so all the, all the chef has done so far is added four hot cubes to the cauldron to make the temperature go up four degrees. What happens if they add six cold cubes. Okay, well now we can see we've got 10 hot cubes and we've got 12 cold cubes. So 10 of the cold cubes will balance the 10 hot cubes and we'll be left with, with these two cold cubes here. And so the temperature of the soup will be a minus two. And the equation that this illustrates is four. We started with four hot cubes and then we added six cold cubes. We added negative six and we ended up at minus two. Okay, let's reset the cauldron again. Let's bring it back down to four degrees. 
or rather bring it up to four degrees. Okay, so change this to four. Okay, so again, we're back at the stage where the chef has added four hot cubes to make the temperature go up four degrees. And this time, I'm gonna remove six hot cubes and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll take out six hot cubes. And now in the cauldron, we're left with four hot cubes, six cold cubes, four of the cold cubes will balance the four hot cubes and we left with two cold cubes. So similar to the last example, the temperature will be at minus two, but we got there a different way. And we can see this if we write the equation, started at plus four with the four hot cubes, but then we removed, we subtracted six hot cubes. Okay, and we ended up at minus two. Okay, so note here that although we ended up at the same place, minus two, we got there in a different way. In the last example, it was actually an addition that we were doing. We were adding six cold cubes. This time, we were doing a subtraction, we were removing six hot cubes. Okay, one last example. Let's um, reset back to plus four. Okay, so we're, again, we're at the stage where the chef has added four hot cubes to make the temperature go up four degrees. But now we're gonna remove six cold cubes. So let's take those out, those six cold cubes there, and see what the temperature of the cauldron will be. Well, now we've just got 10, 10 hot cubes left in the cauldron, so the temperature must be at plus 10. What equation does this represent? Well, again, we started at four, but then we removed, we subtracted six cold cubes we subtracted negative six and we ended up at positive 10. Okay, so again, notice with this last example, we ended up at plus 10 and remember we ended up at plus 10 with the first example as well, but note the difference. In the first example, we added positive six in this Last example, we subtracted negative six. Okay, and this can lead some, some people to say, well, this illustrates that two negatives make a positive. This uh, two negatives make a positive. It's, um, it's one of these arbitrary rules in mathematics that uh, I'm not a huge fan of because without some kind of intuitive explanation like this, it's, it's actually very hard to understand. And so I tend to avoid introducing arbitrary sounding rules like this into the classroom. And instead, if you use a nice intuitive example like this, and I ideally have the students work with physical manipulatives in the classroom to understand the whole process of adding and removing hot and cold cubes, which represents adding and, and subtracting positive and negative integers. Okay, this video will continue now in part two.